I've spoken about this for many years, but I think it's worthwhile revisiting about your unique value proposition and how crucial it is to get right if you want to secure board seats. I conduct a whole raft of uh, complimentary board career assessments and one of the key questions I will ask that individual on that phone call is what do you believe you bring to the table? Uh, what do you think is unique about your qualifications? And I cannot tell you how many times, probably in the 80 to 90% range, I hear things like, well, I've done the GAICD, I've got, you know, the GAICD nominals. You know, having a, a qualification like that is like saying to me, you've got a driver's license. You know, it's, it's of no consequence. Everyone who's on the road has a driver's license. Everyone who's in the boardroom has done some form of corporate governance, uh, formalized training at some point, some form of education. That is not a part of your unique value proposition. So you have to get this right and you've got to understand what the board is looking for and the paradigm is that the board is looking for risk management professionals, people who can set the strategic direction for the organisation. They're your majors if you like. You have to be able to talk to those two key points and express where you would add the value in that paradigm. So within risk management there's a raft of risks that you may need to to manage in the boardroom setting from finance to assets to intellectual property to data to human capital to the overall reputation of the organization. So let's say for example you're a marketer. Your value proposition in regards to you know the risk management uh, component might be you understand crisis management, you understand communications and if the board was in a scenario where there was a problem you would be able able to step up and contribute to uh, that, you know, that equation. Yeah, that could also cover things like if there was a cyber security event, how you might contribute to the communication that needs to happen around that scenario. And so suddenly that then becomes unique. It becomes a lot more, you know, unique to you and your qualifications and your experience. So you need to be able to cover the two majors. So that's the risk management and the business strategy? Have you been able to develop strategy? Have you been able to implement strategy? Have you operationalized strategy? So a lot of execs who are applying for their first couple of board seats, you know, they haven't been in the boardroom before, but they've had to execute on a strategy that the board has developed. And so that unique insight then becomes a part of your unique value proposition. And then finally, you need three or four anchor points, and these could be to do with your personal skills and experience. It could be digital transformation. It could be mergers, acquisitions. It could be understanding the pre-IPO environment. It'll depend a lot on who you're talking to and the type of opportunity, but the more specific you can be and the more unique you can be with that combination, that is what sets you apart. And you have to be able to clearly articulate this. So whenever whenever anyone asks you, you know, what do you bring to the table, you've got to have those four or five key points very clear in your mind so that you're able to articulate it confidently and you know back it up with examples back it up with statements that you know really demonstrate that you you know can walk the talk there is, is some real substance behind your comments so um, I can't stress it enough you have to get this right it's absolutely mandatory if you're going to secure board seats you must have a unique value proposition and the more unique it is the more specific it is for you, the more likely it is you're eventually going to find the right board seat for you that's going to tap into that unique value proposition and enable you to add genuine value in the boardroom setting.